Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. While it is true that some aluminum gets into food when cooked in aluminum foil or with aluminum cookware, and that this is enhanced in acidic foods, it is not true this causes any health effects in healthy adults. Your body absorbs less than 1% of the background aluminum in food or drinking water. Take our lead. Relatively difficult to compound. Secondly, the greatest disadvantage of aluminum foil is poor acid resistance. So when packaging fruit juice or acidic goods are generally not placed in the close sealing layer, so as to ensure that the acid will not penetrate and separate the layer. Make your mark, take our lead. Aluminum foil is actually made of two layers, one of aluminum, another that is coating. The surface of the aluminum layer that is in contact with atmosphere oxidizes and turns into aluminum oxide, hence the matte side. In that case, we should use the shiny side, since aluminum oxide is not that healthy. Take our lead. Yes, you can speed up the healing process when you get sick from a cold or the flu. The process is quite simple, but it does require quite a bit of aluminum foil. Start by wrapping your feet in 5 to 7 layers of foil. Leave it on for an hour. Take our lead. Wrap your feet in aluminum foil to treat everyday aches and pains. This soothes different areas in the body and helps alleviate pain and speed up healing times. The foil's chemical elements help make this unique healing process happen. It seems too good to be true until you try it. Let's help you make your mark. Also, research by the International Journal of Electrochemical Science found that small amounts of aluminum may leach into food during the cooking process. Like with wax paper, if there is heat your best bet is parchment paper. Some people line their ovens with foil to prevent messes. This is a big no-no, too. Let's help you make your mark. Something you can reuse time and again is virtually always a better choice than a single-use item. If you need to cover something in the oven you can use a baking sheet, metal lid, parchment paper, silicone lid, or a silicone mat instead of aluminum foil. Take our lead. High levels of aluminum have been found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. However, as there is no link between people with a high intake of aluminum due to medications, such as antacids, and Alzheimer's, it's unclear if dietary aluminum is truly a cause of the disease. 6. Make your mark, take our lead. Even if the maximum temperature is 400 degrees, the answer is probably not. Just like steel, aluminum alloys become weaker as the service temperature rises. But aluminum melts at only about 1260 degrees, so it loses about half of its strength by the time it reaches 600 degrees. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.